Hello there. We're adding two digit and one digit numbers today while crossing 10. But first, here's our get ready questions. Pause the video here to have a go. How did you get on with those? One more than 12, 13. The number bonds to 10, which will be really important today, eight plus two, four plus six, seven plus three, and then 10 is equal to nine plus one. And then partitioning seven in two different ways. So you could have had zero and seven, one and six, but there are some more ways, two and five, or three and four. And obviously the parts can come in any order. So the ones that are on screen now could be five and two, or four and three. I'm going to show you a number and a 10 frame on the screen. And I'd like you to call out the bond to 10. So six and something makes 10. One of the ways you can do this is to look at the gaps on the 10 frame. So for this one, six and four is equal to 10. Are you ready for the next one? Five and five. One and nine. Ooh, zero. That's right, zero and 10. Three and seven. Seven and, that's right, three. This time we're doing bonds to 20. We've just done seven and three, and this one is 17 and three. That's right, three more to get up to the next 10. 11. Now I remember one and nine, so it must be 11 and nine. Yes, we can use what we know. Ah, up to 30 this time. And I've got one in that final 10 frame, so it must be nine, right? Yes, 21 add nine is 30. One plus nine was equal to 10. 11 plus nine was equal to 20. And 21 plus nine is equal to 30. Can you see the pattern there? Where the ones is one, the bond is always nine. Nine red counters. You could play this game with a friend. One of you could put down some red counters and the other has to complete the bond with some yellow counters. Or one of you could say a number like five and the other one has to quickly say the number to complete the bond, which would be five. Five and five makes 10. In this example, there are no 10 frames. What's the next 10 after 48? And how many more to get there? That's right, 48 plus two is equal to 50. So let's see how we can use our number bonds to help us. Our first question is six plus five. The first thing I'm going to do is partition my five into two parts. And what I'm looking for here is something I can bond with the six to make 10. So six and four makes 10. And then the other part must be one. I've partitioned my five into four and one. I can show this on a number line. I'm starting at six and I'm jumping to the next 10. And that's a jump of four. 10, six plus four makes 10. And then what have I got left over? I've got a jump of one. So 10 plus one is equal to 11. And that's the same as six plus five is equal to 11. All I've done is partition the five into four and one to make 10 first and then add the one on afterwards. It's all about jumping to the next 10. 
18 plus 7 this time. I'm going to start with the number line again, and I'm going to jump to that next 10. So 18 to 20 is a jump of 2. And then I want to jump 7 altogether. So my second jump is a jump of 5. 2 plus 5 making 7 altogether. And I've landed on 25. 18 plus 7 is equal to 25. And this is where the partitioning comes in. What I've done is partition the 7 into 2 and 5. And now 18 and 2 have bonded together to make 20. And then we have the jump of 5 to make 20 plus 5, which is a much easier calculation than 18 plus 7. Both calculations equal 25. What about 19 plus 4? Pause the video here to have a think. What's your first step going to be? Are you going to jump on the number line or are you going to partition your 4? I've jumped on the number line to the next 10. Done a jump of 1. And my second jump is a jump of 3. Because 1 and 3 make 4. I've ended up on 23. What I've done is partition my 4 into 1 and 3. 19 plus 1 making a bond to 20. That's my jump to 20. And then an extra jump of 3 because I have 3 left over. 20 plus 3 being equal to 23. It's your turn now. Have a go at the questions 1 to 3 on the worksheet and make sure you jump to that next 10. Oh no! The eggs are rolling everywhere! Let's get them back in the box. Ah, that's better. We've got a box of 10 eggs now and one extra. And here's a base 10 10 rod. Ah, here are 10 ones. Do you notice that 10 ones are equal to 1 10? A bit like the eggs that were all rolling around. We had 11 eggs rolling around and now we've got a box of 10 and one extra. Ah, there's the extra one. That extra one can't really go with the ten ones. Ten is a bit of a magical number really. We have these ones and we can have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or nine ones. But when we get to ten we show that in the tens column. And the digit is one just like in the ones column. But this one means one ten. We're going to use base 10 this time to do a very similar calculation. What's the calculation that I'm showing here? I've got 25 plus 7. And what I'd like to do is jump to the next 10. Can I make a 10? Oh yes, I can take these five ones and put them with those five ones and exchange that for a 10. Now I've got 30 plus 2. Really I've partitioned my 7 into 5 and 2 and added the 5 to the 25 to make 30 and there are 2 left over. 30 plus 2 is equal to 32 just like 25 plus 7 is equal to 32. This time I have 59 plus 5. How do you think I'm going to make 10 this time? Pause the video to have a think. There are two options. That's right, I could have done 5 plus 5 like I did last time in exchange for a 10 or I can partition my 5 into 4 and 1 taking the 1 over to make 10 and exchanging those 10 ones for a 10. So now I have 60 plus 4, which is 64. Just like 59 plus 5 is 64. 
What a really good mental strategy, making 10.